x y t equals x asterisk asterisk two plus y asterisk asterisk two asterisk asterisk dot five t. x y t equals x forward slash four carrot y forward slash four t. space.
and we are back just as soon as I found my mouse. Um, hey again. Um, so yeah, that was the first little mini demo uh, demo show. Um, for anybody who missed the initial uh, timetable, this is what we've got coming up. Um, we've got chats and demo shows till uh, eight o'clock. 20, 100 hours uh, in European time. Uh, well, it's all it's all in UTC, um, and that is um, followed by the Nano Awards at half past, and then at nine o'clock, uh, twenty one hundred hours, we have the amazing Epic Bike Jam, and then um, while the Bike Jam's going on, you're going to be voting for the new talent competition. Um, don't forget to vote because there will be a winner and uh, then we will um, wish you all a lovely evening at uh, probably about half past ten. So that's the plan. Um, have with me Prestis and Orby who keep vanishing because I keep disabling the screen. Um, welcome back. Um, so I guess one thing that came up in that, that category just a minute ago is there's a few 1k demos in there uh, which is something Love Byte hasn't done previously but this year we're introducing a new uh, bigger category and that kind of it, it blurs the line between you know like the 4k's that you see um, at other parties and that side of size coding I mean, do you think um, I guess open, open floor question do you think it's going to change the way that people make demos for Love Byte and people see size coding? Um, well, the change, no, but obviously immediately when I saw the announcement that there's going to be a 1k uh, compo, I started thinking like, oh wow, what can we do with all that extra 512 bytes uh, on top of what we used to have? And I sort of, uh, I, I despaired immediately. It was so much that I, I, I felt like I felt terrible dread. <laughs> And now, 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 but, but what I did is that I started a little bit poking around on DOS on X86, like what could we, we do with all that space. And now seeing all these entries with JavaScript and um, uh, on Windows, I, uh, I'm, 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 I'm really afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, after working in that 20, 256 byte and uh, maybe 512 uh, byte limit, uh, the, the, the 1K feels like, uh, endless space <laughs> at, the, at the moment, so I, I, I no 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 promises that I will be able to complete find anything that's worth filling all that space uh, in, in the time I have remaining for love bite. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I, uh, I I pretty much feel the same way. <laughs> um, I so I'm really I think like for those of us who are used to you know size coding in like. 256 bytes or less. Yeah, 1K just sounds enormous. Um, but, you know, I think like there have definitely been some 1K assembly written um, size coded intros before. Um, I think it's a monumental amount of work, <laughs> but I think that's really, that's kind of exciting, right? Because I think that like there's an, there are opportunities for like size coded mega demos in one k basically depending on the platform. So I, that's really cool. So I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what, what happens there. I, f I feel like this is a different world uh, to, you know, my, my world is like, oh, I managed to fit that in 4K. That was good. And you guys are just like, oh, I don't know. It's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, but but to be fair, um, at least with uh, Windows, you have you have a certain amount of scaffolding you have to fit in in this one uh, K. So you have to be something like a crinkler stub and and certain amount of the code to get the shaders running. So in the end, maybe the shader plus the audio. I don't know how. I actually don't know how exactly how much it is the tiniest stub that you can now make. But with the fantasy consoles, of course, if you think of 512 byte uh, combo, it's all just everything that is taken care of for you. So, so I would actually think that the the gap from fantasy con console um, uh, 512 byte versus uh, Windows 1K uh, in terms of the code, the actual code uh, to make the visuals and the audio 
would not be that huge. But um, that being said, of course, with Windows, uh, you get you get all the nice um, GLSL shaders, and of course, in terms of visuals, what can you what you can pull off on the GPU is going to be far more mind blowing than what you can generally do with the uh, fantasy consoles. Yeah, I think. Um... Yeah, I mean, the, the bulk of my experience and the bulk of my background was five coding and coding DOS and a real mode on x86 instruction, you know, generally one or two byte instructions are very common. So the idea of, you know, a thousand bytes is a lot of instructions. <laughs> um, and with typically those are dot com files, which have no program headers, which also saves a ton of space. Um, so you know, essentially you, you have somewhere in the realm of, you know, if you're writing something under DOS and you have somewhere in the realm of, I don't know, probably six or 700 instructions to play with, which is an awful lot considering, you know, set up for the screen only involves like three instructions. So everything else is just pixel manipulation. So you can, you can, def there's definitely room to get really elaborate in one thing. Of course, your resolution, unless you're, messing around with the Bezos stuff, the year resolutions, you know, probably going to be um, much, much smaller than you're going to experience on Windows and everything software driven. So yeah, it's a lot of trade-offs. It's a lot of differences, but, uh, but yeah, a lot of interesting opportunities. So I guess the, and, um, the, the big advantage would be that, especially on new, well, particularly on new school, having access to some of the things that need more scaffolding in order to, to start to become accessible at all. Yeah, but but even on uh, on uh, DOS or x86, um, uh, in one K category, you you definitely will have or one ha will have to use um, compression uh, because uh, we recently golfed the uh, uh, Upiker uh, stub into uh, one hundred twenty eight bytes, and uh, that gets you a lot of more mileage already out of your 1k than 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 if you write uncompressed code um so it's 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 even even more bigger space than it feels at first uh the 1k yeah. actually i think that you bigger might even break even um, in 512 byte category um if the stub is something like 128 bytes uh, but but that really depends. Then you start start to be in a territory where one would have to write the code to be easily compressible. It's essentially an LSAT type of a packer. So so um, the code generally becomes starts to look like something that is designed to be easy for LSAT type of packers. So. I guess one, uh, to change the subject slightly, um, one of the things that we mentioned in the, the first segment was about more around the community that's building up around uh, size coding and love bites and things like that. Um, so I guess I'd like to make a, a quick shout out to particularly the NanoGems website. So um, if you can get onto the NanoGems, um, somebody paste it into the, um, the, comp the chat for me. Um, but it's a curated sort of gallery of size coded demos if you're interested in that sort of thing um similarly lifecode.demozoo.org um have been they are technically not a size coding um archive but they have been archiving a lot of our um you know life coding stuff with the tick 80 and that might be useful for inspiration or just also you know the love bike community really does Sort of love that sort of thing. Um, so good you posted it twice. Thank you, Rogue and Dave. Um, and one, the, the of course the bit of the big community thing, which I think you must have heard of, um, which happened just just a little while ago, which was the Tiny Co Christmas. And I, I mean, I personally, I thought that was magical, and I have seen so many. Um, you know, so many people just saying good things about it. People I've never seen doing size coding before doing size coding. Um, total newcomers. And it's been really wonderful. And I just, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, what's what's your perception been of that? If you had any good sort of good stories and good things you've seen? That makes me 
so happy <laughs> because it's um i think that outreach in the demo scene is really essential um to keeping the scene alive and to fostering growth and fostering new ideas and uh i know that uh you know it's especially around love fight that's really been a big focus and it's a big part of what makes me so excited for this party and so excited for the efforts around it um is that like it's definitely um it's very it's it's very inclusive in terms of experience levels which is not has not, and i feel is not something i've always experienced in the demo scene sometimes there can be a degree of um Oh, a certain degree of like um, gatekeeping, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And, and that's been very absent in my experiences and interactions with, uh, with this particular corner of the demo scene. And I think that's really wonderful. Yeah, regarding Tiny Code Christmas, um, specifically, it was totally awesome to see people never having worked with size coding before and then over the course of 12 days, basically go from zero to picking up uh, size coding and, and especially, well, this is being in TK, but basically it, 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 it was the real deal. I mean, it included the whole package. So after that, they were able to work with, with pretty awesome stuff uh, in, in the matter of um, uh, 12 days. And, and uh, uh, I think that also in general, size coding is doing this outreach uh, very right. Love by also the Discord. There's the wiki. So overall, I think it's nowadays so accessible to get started. Uh, you you can ask people. You can watch videos. Uh, you can have seminars. You have uh, you have materials uh, uh, and uh, everything is documented in the site coding wiki. So uh, it's it's so much easier to pick up the hobby nowadays than it it was in the past. I definitely agree with that. And I, from my own perspective, running the Monday night. Uh, bike jams. We've seen some newcomers. We've seen some people who I've, yeah, you know, some people who I've seen before saying, "I'd really love to get into this, but I don't have time." And I think giving people a a sort of a welcoming community and a framework to to progress like that um, is really good to see. And I'm personally going to go back because I. I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was preparing a Philippex thing. Um, it was a long time ago, but I really want to go back and work through it myself because there's definitely a lot of edges which I, you, you know, uh, have never encountered before and things I'd like to learn how to do. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, um, I think the TCC link was posted in the chat a minute ago. Uh, so scroll up, I'm sure they will post it again in just a second. Um, but really recommend checking that out if you're at all interested in getting into size coding for yourself. Um, and yeah, I think um, there's, uh, I think coming up to time for another little demo show. And then we will have a, um, we will have a brief teaser. We have a teaser video. And then we are going to go into the new talent demo compo. So at, at eight o'clock, we will um, we will come in. We'll watch a teaser video, and I'll I'll see what you think about it. Um, it's a it's a love bite, um, excitement, hype building um, video, and it's very mysterious. Uh, so I will be interested to to hear your thoughts on that. Um, but for now, let us watch a few more tiny demos.
and we're back. Hello, and uh, um, I'm going to show you a teaser for Love Bites um, and a very mysterious, strange thing that uh, Rogue handed to me with a kind of sort of like a, like like a sinister um, undercover operative in a dark alley. Rogue, Super Rogue was just like, "Here, play this teaser." And uh, so I'm going to play it for you, and we're going to find out uh, why what the mystery is all about. What do you think that was? Um, very mysterious introduction. Nobody knows. Um, maybe of all the things you can fit in the garage. Could be like science coding a garage. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Some kind of metaphor of science coding, like. Yeah, um, something, yeah, something in America, it's in America, I think. Um, so, uh, don't know if that's significant. Something about a legend, yeah. Um, new Mac, could be, could be a new Mac. Anyway, <laughs> that is the first of three teaser videos, um, I am assured, um, and uh, that's the most mysterious one. So stay tuned um, for more teaser videos at, released at uh, a later date, and you'll find out at Love Bite what the mystery is. <laughs> but in the meantime, it is time to move on to compo time, which is exciting. Um... Let's get ready! Love it. So let's get started by um, I'm going to put on the uh, play the compo through, and uh, while we're Watching the compo, you can register to vote. Um, there's a link in the chat. I just saw it go past. There is going to be a um, voting. Live voting is enabled, so get onto um, the Love Bites uh, Woohoo uh, voting system, and um, yeah, cast your votes uh, because they matter, and your vote is you know, important to us. And to the people who've done this, which is, you know, it's doing your first ever demo compo, sit back and give lots of love to everybody who's done this. Um, like, to get started in science coding is a rare and impressive thing to do. So uh, huge, huge admiration to all of you who are in the, this new competition. First up is Cycles by Dr. Dougal, a homage to an oldie for the Tick 80. Next up is Storm by Sylvia.
Sapinski by Penguin42. Serpensky, Sepen sorry. A twist on the traditional triangles. Greets to everyone from the Tiny Code Christmas Discord. Hey! Trippy Plasma by MachineCat.exe. Plasma with an extra effect. Cubic Zirconia by Gigabates, the power of three. Scanner by Luchak. Luchak? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Brain Crash by Key. Silent Snow, Secret Snow by Bookwyvern from Twitter. Jelly Hearts by J Truck. Thanks for Tiny Code Christmas, some mock sprites, and a knockoff refraction effect for you. Greetings to all, thanks for being welcoming. 256 bytes, tick 80. J Trucks.
Thanks Tunnel by Heaney Arkson. A spin of one of the Tiny Co Christmas effects. Big thanks to everyone who helped organise TCC. Yes! LED by Loki, per Aspera ad Astra, through the hall, thorns to the stars, inspired by Led Zeppelin. Microbes by Kurogi. Some happy little microbes in 256 bytes on the Tikati. Photosynthesis by Sid. Kid. Just having fun with curves. Enjoy the sun. And it burns, burns, burns. Sidebot of the Twilight Brothers 256 byte intro. Thanks to the Love Bite for the wonderful teachings of Tiny Co Christmas. And so it came to pass that the Twilight Brothers, 30 years after the promotion, celebrate their first release. Heartbite by Liquid Dream, a remix of lessons learned during Love Bite TCC. Chaos Tunnel by Gigabates. Okay, Zuma.
Triple Tunnel by Sid. We overlap tunnels of different shapes. Is it still a tunnel? A Cold Night by Luchak. Thanks to PO1 for advice and feedback. Fractal Reactor by Going Digital, my first ever prod. Yay! Thanks TCC Orgs and participants for encouragement. competition so please 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 now you have seen all of those fabulous demos please 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 go and vote uh, it's very important and well is it important i think it's very important that you share your love for how awesome um all of these things are um regardless of how you do it we'd like you to vote and uh then uh at the end of the night, uh, about 10.15, there will be um, a announcement of who has won. And I think that was amazing. Um, uh, Festus, did you, uh, what did you think of that, that show? Yeah, it, it's, I mean, first of all, uh, a massive appreciation for the tiny code Christmas. You you can clearly see that uh, uh, people, after having practiced for the tiny code Christmas, the quality of releases in this new talent compo was was pretty, pretty mind blowing. And, and and secondly, I mean, one of the things like people are, have been saying that scene is dead, and uh, you know that this is this is the the, the, the demo scene is dead. dead. I don't know about the big demos. They might be dead, but I can see that size coding is doing more amazing things than it has been doing ever before. And I think the size coding is doing better than it has been doing ever before. So maybe demo scene is dead and everyone just migrated to size coding. Uh, yeah, this, this blows my mind, especially when you think, you know, some of these people have never... This is the, like, I said, like, my first pod and I was like, if that was my first pod, I would be feeling like, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, all right about myself now. So thank you, everybody who participated in that. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you give yourselves a big hug, give yourselves a big pat on the back. And if anybody meets you at a party, like, actually, if you meet any of the people who did this stuff at a party, Go and give them a hug and a pat on the back and maybe buy them a beer, depending on how old they are, I don't know, and uh, whether they want a beer. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, buy, buy them a Vibina if, if otherwise. Um, but, yeah, I've got to say that was an absolutely outstanding um, show. Um, and so many as well, which was really wonderful. Um, I hope now that... 
you know, maybe some of you have, have, have entered a competition um, for the first time, they will also be considering entering a competition at Love Bites. And uh, so that's that competition, I think I failed to say at the start, is 256 byte um, fantasy consoles. So everything you saw there was either running on a Tick 80 or running on a Pico 8 and uh, they're both very straightforward uh, to get started in if you know a little bit of programming. If you don't, there's some very simple tutorials to get started with. There's Tiny Code Christmas um, and they have wonderful supportive communities and you can do, once you get the basics, uh, you can start getting really creative and making you know, really amazing stuff uh, in 12 days apparently. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, really encourage you to do that and to come by uh, Love Bites uh, later on. If you missed this, we've got a recording of it and it's all going up on YouTube. If you've just come in hoping to catch the um, the new talent competition, then um, please you know check our socials after this event and uh, you'll be able to see it because um, I hope though that everybody wants to see the whole thing and uh, is going to be looking forward to watching the Nano Awards next, which is going to be... Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what the Nano Awards actually are. Um, let's go back to the chat. Yeah, so the Nano Awards. Um... How would you describe the Nano Awards, Pestis? Well, I... <laughs> Well, I, I guess that it's it it, it they they the, the history is a bit be, be, be behind them was a little bit that if you look at the demo scene awards in general, um, uh, uh, we are uh, the, the the big demos were always catching up all the awards, uh, um, and uh, the size coding was not get, getting a lot of the uh, kind of a visibility um, in in that crowd. And I, I, I totally kind of see it because it's it's it will be it's kind of difficult to compare uh, 256 bytes to a, a intro into a uh, let's say a five megabyte uh, demo or how many megabytes I think I'm 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 20 years behind so five they're not five megabytes anymore I think they're like five gigabytes now um, but anyway so 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 I think the 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 point of these awards is to a little bit highlight uh, and give um, uh, shout out and visibility to the best of the tiny size coding intros of the of the past year, and and in 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 a, in a setting where it's more like app comparing apples to apples than in uh, in in the general purpose awards on the demo scene. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel that having the Nano Awards is um, you. Know, it's another one of those things that really builds out the community and uh, it shows something that you wouldn't see in a general purpose demo scene event. Um, let's, without further ado, um, get started and start thinking about the, um, the very wonderful, very amazing and very epic Nano Awards nominees. So, the way that the Nano Awards work is the community you can submit uh, nominations yourselves and people have been doing that of demos science coded demos that they've seen in the past year that have really impressed them and then a panel of uh, jurors uh, who are sort of experts in the field um, gets um, a really hard long look at all of them and um, awards the ones that in an expert um, consideration they consider to be the most impressive um, demos and it's not you know there's obviously a lot of subjectivity in that um, and it's not to say like one demo is going to be you know this is the, if your demo doesn't make the, the nano awards then um that's not necessarily a reflection uh, on you and uh, 
it's a very impressive set of demos, um, to, to say the least. And uh, we are going to start off... I'm going to start off with old school! The nominees are Colourful Boxes by Gunstick of Unlimited Matrix. Brave New World by Marquee Design. Help Poltergeist by Agent E or Forgent E. Mirkwood by Ill Minute of Agenda. And Dead Face of the Black Dahlia by Joker. Okay, there were some pretty strong contenders there. Um, so, what do you think was your... Um, yeah. Uh, what's your take of, take of the, um, the old school... Uh, it's old school nano. I can't speak. Yeah. Why am I doing this? Nano award nominees for old school. So um, it's it's lovely to see that um, of these uh, entries, you can see quite a quite many were uh, leaning towards the kind of a, um, have some kind of a coherent visual uh, display going on there. So uh, apart from perhaps the colorful boxes, they the, the the tech demos uh, um, they they were more not only tech demos but they were also trying to have some kind of coherent visual story behind the uh, uh, behind the entries and that's of course that's always amazing uh, to pull off because uh, uh, in old school machines you know uh, well I I still sort a little bit remember I haven't been working too much with myself, but I remember that how hard it was to get even a single pixel on the screen and to, to, to be able to to pull up something like that uh, in the limited number of bytes is always amazing. I really, I'm impressed with the, I mean, like we were saying about music earlier, um, it seems to be a much more of a, a standard expectation now in a, um, in a tiny demo. And uh, I think that's, also playing in maybe to the you know to to the thing that we were talking about earlier about having a you know like a narrative or something that holds the scene together um which sometimes seemed like it might be lacking from a small demo but not not really the case it's, uh... no no i think that this time that all, I, I see a lot of coherence in these entries and that was really really lovely and um, of course, we also we also heard that music, and this time it was pretty awesome music. So, so uh, uh, there was a comment in the chat saying that it's difficult to have uh, mu proper music in old school uh, entries, but uh, well, it is possible. Definitely, yeah. I don't want to sort of I don't want to prejudice this. I'm like, there's a there's, there's a couple of those demos that I'm just like, I really, you know. Not necessarily as a coder um, or as somebody who understands the challenges, but just in terms of the sheer, um, like the atmosphere and engagement that I feel is something like that. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a computer from the 1980s <laughs> or the 1990s, and you're just going like, you know, how how is this 256 bytes? Um, yeah, so let's take a, ne a look at the high-end category. And the nominees are 
The Dream We Used to See by Sense and Style. Alien Core 64 Bytes by Hellmood of Desire. Shift Ride by Marquee Design. DE6215 by Gopher of Alcatraz. And Lying Miger by Severt of Wookids. Also a very impressive, impressive batch. Um, so, I mean, do you think anything's changed in the, uh, the high end? Um, Domain the high end category this year. That's uh, some new boundaries you're seeing pushed. So, well, um, actually, interestingly, uh, the 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 the, the uh, high end platforms were more uh, more technically oriented than 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 the old school stuff, which which I would usually sort of. Uh, expecting to go the other way but now we see more uh, technically oriented entries in the in the high high end category than he, uh, than in the old school and and of course i'm 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 a sucker for the music and uh, and, and now we see, see see hear some great music also so, yeah. um, boundaries pushed well um, i think that here i would have to just point out that that was the 64 byte Ray Marcher I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely um, just. There's no way. It's it's, it's surely impossible. And um, I think Helmut is a wizard for achieving that. Um, but so, hold on a second. My dog is creating audio difficulties in the corner there, so I had to just move him. Um, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the high end category and uh, really outstanding stuff. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens when the high end size coders get the full one kilobyte of uh, memory and the, the love byte. Full fat um, giant category that <laughs> you and Orby were so afraid of. Let's check out the fantasy. And the nominees are Thrive by Ilmanit of Agenda, Microlayer by Marquis de Design, Relaxation Exercise by Exotical. Pulsating Magic Orb by Pestis and Second Dramatic by Dresden Boy. That was quite a, you know, a very strong, I think emotionally very strong uh, category this year. There was a lot of uh, stuff that obviously looks incredibly beautiful and energizing um from a technical standpoint do you think it's a you know it's it's equally well chosen yeah i think that, that, that we now see um uh, a range of uh, range of entries again so so stuff stuff from uh, um um the tiny technical uh, uh, feats but also ranging to the to the, the ones that were telling like a coherent story uh, behind that, but that behind the whole stuff. And of course, uh, I'm on, I was honored to see that people voted also for pulsating magic up there. So thank you for everyone for that. 
um, the uh, the but the, it's also nice to see that the 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 fantasy consoles are pretty uh, varied also nowadays that you can see a lot of um, um, uh, var- var- great variety of entries and it's a uh, it, it 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 tells a good tells a good future that microwave is having two now nominated even though that i think the user base for that one still is is far s- smaller than than the other fantasy consoles so i guess that within um, um, a few years things might uh, flip uh, because obviously you can do a lot with uh, with with micro- microwave yeah, so for folk who are not familiar with it, uh, Microwave is a fancy console that is based on WebAssembly. So it is the place to be if you want something to run, you know, cool fancy stuff that is WebAssembly friendly, uh, theoretically going to be quite portable because of that. It's going to be a, you know, a technology that is going to be long supported into the future, hopefully. And... Um, it's also very cool, and you get quite a lot of, I think, neat toys working with that. Um, and obviously, um, yeah, really exciting to see another contender coming out in the fancy console uh, domain. Um, so, yeah, what's going to happen now is you have seen the nominees, and you should get hyped um, and go and vote on the Nano Awards in your um, Woohoo. Um, I think I was giving misinformation earlier. Um, you should go and vote on the Nano Awards and uh, they have screenshots and they are some of the most fabulous to watch uh, demos. Uh, so micro, micro, w, micro, the word micro and then W8, the number. Yay, thank you. Um, and uh, that's going to be really exciting. So go and vote on those. Uh, stay tuned for Love Bites when the Nano Awards will be awarded. And uh, we will be really looking forward to that. In the meantime, um, there is a... Let's just check our timetable. Um, right Jam is coming up at 9 o'clock. Um, we've got Ferris on the decks, we have got Alia, we have got Tobach, we have got Mantratronic, and we have got Evil Paul. And it's, I think they're all connected now, except maybe, maybe some one, oh no, I think we're all connected now. So uh, in 10 minutes time, we're going to be good to start. And that is going to be huge and exciting and um, it's just a really good vibe, just people live coding on the Tick80 and um, some good beats. And remember to vote while we are doing this. So um, really looking forward to um, sort of, yeah, the results of, of that compo from earlier, the uh, new talent compo. I'm going to, next time I have to do a competition, I'm going to write the words on my monitor and stick them on post-it note because <laughs> I keep forgetting what new talent, the words new talent. It's nearly nine o'clock and uh, I didn't have a brain to start with. So, um, right, this is, um, I think, probably the time when we should go to a slides break and get ourselves ready for the, um, for the, comp- for the, for the bite jam. Uh, Pestis, thank you very much for joining. Orby as well, thank you very much for joining us. Um, uh, have you got any I, last words you'd like to here. say for um, before we head off to the um, close the chat for the night? I mean, everyone, thank 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 everyone for submitting uh, entries to the new talent compo. Keep up the good work, and uh, you still have many many weeks to go until the deadline for the for the love bite. So uh, I hope to see more of that stuff uh, coming uh, in Love Bite. So thank you all. Yes, that is absolutely. Um, don't feel pressured, but feel gently nudged. Anybody, if you want to come and join the Love Bite Discord uh, or send us a message on um, either on Mastodon or on Twitter, um, 
we would love to talk to you. Um, there's a whole community of us. Um, there's a load of folk who are involved with Tiny Code Christmas. So there's a lot of also very fresh faces. So you won't feel like it's a load of you know people who've been here 20 years or so. Uh, very friendly and there's a lot of magic I think in size coding and uh, that can be good when you discover something magical and wonderful or it can be scary if it seems like it's something unknown and uh, I think I think we're very willing to share the secrets and uh, please feel welcome please um, and yes thank you very much again to our guest Pestis and Orby um, and stay tuned for there will be a bite jam in 10 minutes. Thank you.